Last week, he called for the president to be impeached because of the spy tape saga. The deputy speaker ruled against that call, so COPE leader Mosiwa Lakota took the matter to court. Now it's tit for tat, with the deputy speaker trying to force Lakota to withdraw his comments. Honorable Lakota, could you please withdraw that statement? Or leave the House. Madam Deputy Speaker, I am not prepared to do this. All of us must be equal before the law. It cannot happen in this way. I'm sorry. Honorable Lakota, I've, I've asked you to leave the chamber, please, so that we, we proceed with the matter. Are there no surgeon of arms in this parliament? Can you please lead Mr. Lakota out of the house? Only once he caught sight of the parliamentary security did Lakota eventually leave with his party in tow. To condemn in the strongest terms the actions but the DA of wouldn't Lakota, be upstaged, to condemn in the and registering their protest as the ANC chief whip took his time to condemn Lakota's allegations. For his actions, to call on the House to censure. MPs accused him of breaking the rules to protect Zuma. August House, the message has gone through. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. If they read the rules, their motion... After a long argument about the parliamentary rulebook... of motion order, honourable members, can we come back to the business of the day? The House finally moved on to the orders of the day. Paula Charles, Parliament.